Greetings students and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're doing looking at unit three, lesson three, multiplication with arrays. So as we now are moving into this multiplication unit, we wanna make sure that we understand why multiplication works. Uh, so we've already looked at how multiplication is uh, groups of something. So four groups of something or three groups of something and how we can use multiplication to solve that. We also looked how it's at how it is repeated addition. Uh, today's lesson, we want to look at how arrays can help us um, understand and solve multiplication problems. So here I have an array. Now what you'll notice with an array is an array has the same, the, the rows are all of the same length um, and the columns. So the columns are up and down, they're all the same heights. The rows are all the same left to right, all right? So how would we understand this as a multiplication problem? Well, we can do this one of two ways. One we can break it into to rows. So I have one, two, three, four rows. And there are one, two, three, four, five in each one of those rows. Now, four times five equals what? So hopefully we're moving towards memorizing our math facts and we'll know that this answer is 20. However, if we're not there yet, we could just count all of the dots. And that would help us solve this. So I can know that there are four rows of five, or I can do there are five columns, one, two, three, four, five, of four in each. So I could do five times four. Now what's interesting here is, like addition, it doesn't matter which way you put the numbers, they're always going to equal the same thing. We have not changed this array whatsoever. So we already know that there are 20 dots in this array. All right, so I'll look at this one. So this one, I can say there are two rows and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in each row. Or I could say there are seven columns and there are two in each column. However I want to word that, however I want to solve that, either way is fine here. Two times seven is 14, and thus two, uh, seven times two is 14. Now what this lets us know then is that two times seven is equal to seven times two. Doesn't matter which way we solve that, uh, it works out, it works out either way. All right, well that was all for today. Go ahead and do your independent lesson and have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next time.